Okay, thank you so much, Greg. Now we are back with Spotlight 29 Casino. We are talking about the do's and don'ts and strategy. We are joined by Spotlight 29 Casino's poker manager, Matt Singleton. Also joining us, card dealer, Evelyn Ramirez. And uh, good morning. Good Welcome morning. Back. Thank you so much for joining us. So last we talked, you were telling us a little bit about some of the etiquette of playing blackjack, of you know the hand signals, that kind of thing. So hopefully we have that down. We Let's do. learn a little so bit about the actual cards. When should you hit? When should you stay? Absolutely. We have a dealer's hand out here in front of Evelyn, in front of each of you, and then uh, kind of a third hand to demonstrate three popular things. The dealer's up card here is a nine. That's a very strong card. As a player, you, uh, you almost always assume that there's a 10 underneath that. So what you're playing against is a 19. Now, Gloria, you have a 17. There's not a whole lot you can do with a 17 because it's not likely you make it any better. On that one, you would just stay. So I would go like this. Absolutely. You'd wave that off. If, if I hit, I'd probably get beat up by some of the other players. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right? You call that busted, and not because of the other players, just because your hand total would go over 21. Go you, over. you could do better, but it's not very likely, so you're just going to let that one sit. Now, Thalia, you have a 4 or a 14. I was going to say really basic, but what does the, eight rep the ace represent? It's either 1 or 11. Whichever one's better for the player, that's what that is. So right now it's a 14, but it's what we call a soft 14. It's soft because you can't bust it. You can't break it. You can take hits to that, and you can't hurt your hand. So Evelyn's going to give you a card there on your 14 right after you signal, because she won't do it because I said so. There you Signal, go. Signal, perfect. Thank you. Now you have 5 or 15, Ooh. which is pretty much the same situation. Soft hand, and you can keep going without hurting yourself, Fine. so signal hit again. Now you have 7, 17. Now, 17's a good hand. Uh. Remember on hers how we didn't uh, we So didn't we're hit? tied right now. You are tied right now, but you have a better 17. Because All right. You can hit again without hurting yourself, whereas she would break. Right, because I can take put these card. back to ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, do it again. Let's go. Now you have 9 or 19. Yeah. Now it's a soft 19, Ooh. so you could keep hitting it. I'm going to stick. Why not? So that's this. Absolutely. Actually, right. I want to ask something, because yeah. on that one, can you then double down on that one? You or can only double down on your first two first, cards. Okay, so and, you can't. And the, the soft 14 is a doubling hand, but only against a very weak dealer's card. With a strong card like a 9, you, you'd want to kind of... Uh, do your best with what money you have out there and not bump it up. Take it easy with that one. Wait, pick your moments. Wait okay, the, but first two. Time. Absolutely. Now on this double down, this 11 that we have out here in the third spot, even though a 9 is a strong card, 11 is a great doubling hand. Uh -huh. You really don't pass that up very much. So we're going to double down on that one. Evelyn, give her a hit. Okay. And there Ooh. you end up with a 21. Now that would be a good one. That's right. Now wow. we've, got, we've gone around the table. Now we're going to see what the dealer has. Evelyn's going to reveal her second card. And it was a Ooh. 20. Close. All right. So your 21 is still going to get paid. All right. Yes. So this She's person takes it. 21, the mystery man. Mm -hmm. The mystery Unfortunately, man. Unfortunately, your losers. 19 and your 17 would come down. <laughs> oh, so we would lose on <laughs> this one. But it is one, a but... moral victory because you played it properly. All you right. did a very good job. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. Informative. More, yeah, we're going to come back with you guys one more time. But before, I just wanted to talk about a little bit the other games, as we were saying earlier, mm -hmm. aside from blackjack and Poker. Absolutely, yeah. As the table games and poker manager, I get to deal with all of our table type games. In our poker room, we have Texas Hold'em, we have Omaha, we even have Pangini. Out in the table games pit, we have blackjack, and we have different varieties. We have single deck, where you get to hold the cards. We have this shoe game that's six decks. Uh, we also have poker variety games, Pi Gow Poker, Three Card Poker. We have a brand new game called High Card Flush that you don't have to understand any of this. For. <laughs> okay. So if this isn't for you, plenty of options. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I wish they'd bring bingo, though. Huh? Bingo. bingo. That's what like I'm bingo? hoping for. Yeah, All bring right. some bingo to Spotlight today. I can see that. If you're interested in learning some of these rules as well, check out the information on our screen. The Spotlight 29 Casinos Spotlight University is Saturdays. So you can go every single Saturday, go check it out and learn to play blackjack and other games. And for $10, very good deal there. A very good deal. And it goes from noon to 2 p.m. Actually, $10 is what we give you in match play after you've played. Oh. That, that's not a cost. That's something you get oh, just for okay. participating. So it's free. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Even better. Beautiful. We like that even better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll be right back after the break.